Have you heard about the EBM? No. What is the EBM? The EBM is evidence-based medicine. What is evidence-based medicine? It's very important. It brings the scientific proof to medicine. I prefer the holistic medicine. Holistic medicine is hippie pseudoscience. The EBM is the conscientious, explicit, and judicious use of current best evidence in making decisions about the care of individual patients. How does the EBM work? It uses the best evidence. We base our treatments on well-designed, large-scale, placebo-controlled, randomized clinical trials. What a lot of big words. What do they mean? The EBM analyzes huge populations and applies the results to individual patients. That can't be right. The EBM has forgotten about the ecological fallacy. It is not rational to apply group statistics to individuals. That's just wrong. You clearly don't understand. Let me explain it to you. The EBM combines clinical trials in a meta-analysis to make its results even more reliable. Forgive me for being stupid. What is a meta-analysis? The EBM selects only the best evidence from clinical trials and combines them into a huge population using advanced statistics to find treatments that work. We don't rely on foolish anecdotes. But that means you are selecting your data? Surely, every science student learns not to do that. How do you know what evidence is best before you know the answer? You are clearly not an EBM doctor or a trained statistician. If you were, you would not ask such an informed questions. No. I am not an EBM doctor or a statistician. But I still do not understand how the EBM gets over the ecological fallacy. Surely, making the groups bigger just makes the problem worse. You don't understand. With EBM, we have scientifically proven treatments. You think I don't understand. But, I do know that science is induction. You make a guess. Then you check it. Those ideas that fail the tests are suspect. Science is always uncertain. Scientific proof does not exist. What ridiculous ideas. Of course there is scientific proof. We get it from our randomized clinical trials. Name one important person who would support your ideas. What about the Karl Popper? He had something to say about science. Oh yes, and my old friend Ray Solomonoff. He described the scientific method as a form of mathematical induction. He explained why an open mind is important. Were they medically trained? No, they were not medically trained. Then you should not listen to them. The EBM has real authority. It is supported by billion-dollar organizations. Who are you going to believe? Ray Solomonoff, whoever he may be, or the combined talents of the EBM? I would go with Ray. What a silly hippie you are. Of course, we in EBM know about the ecological fallacy. The EBM uses only the best evidence and the most advanced statistics. We have found multiple risk factors for all the major diseases. What? You are looking for multiple risk factors? Then you are cursed. I'm not afraid of your curses. Our wonderful EBM is replacing magical thinking in medicine. Extraordinary. But you can always find lots of risk factors for any disease. This kind of thinking is unscientific. You will always find statistical significances, but it's just a fluke. Chance results. What? Your EBM is suffering from the curse of dimensionality. It cannot find the cause of an illness or a cure. If you were trained in the EBM, you would not use words like cure. Cures are difficult. The EBM only uses treatments that work in large clinical trials. I am very skeptical. How is the EBM validated? How do you know it works? Has it been tested against other approaches? Your holistic thinking is getting in the way of your understanding. I will say this using small words. We only use the best data from clinical trials and meta-analysis. We describe the results as scientifically proven. Alternative medicine is unproven. People should not use unproven treatments. I will take that as a no to validation then. Now, 
I know there is no such thing as scientific proof. I know about the ecological fallacy and don't know how you can avoid it. Your risk factors are cursed and can't give you the data you need. This is just wrong. Huh? But there is something more important. Your clinical trials are not good regulators. A good regulator is a model of the problem of treating a patient. EBM's trials are a poor form of experiment. You are not making predictions for individual patients. This is silly. Oh, dear, you were really quite slow. You are obviously not an EBM medical professional. You believe in holistic medicine and have flaky happy ideas. Really? I thought I was a rational patient and had made an informed decision to reject the EBM and be treated as an individual. I don't accept your ideas or the EBM. Patients like you often do not understand the unique intricacies of the scientific mind. EBM is the future of medicine and you will need to get used to it. Why is that? Because patients do not have the knowledge and expertise to make the right evidence-based decisions. But shouldn't patients be given the information and be allowed to make a rational choice? We evidence-based medical specialists need to use best practice and guide their thinking. Were you trained at all? Of course I was not trained in the EBM. I am a theoretical physicist, specializing in decision theory and doing research in cybernetics. But now, I hope you will excuse me. For I find myself floundering in a conversation where logic is inadmissible. Goodbye.